Now, anyone over 70 is required by law to renew their driving licence as long as they meet the minimum eyesight requirements. But statistics show that deaths among elderly drivers have slowly increased. So there are renewed calls for all over 70s to retake their test. And it's interesting that, that this has come up, actually, Gloria, because Gloria had a little brush with the law recently, which did surprise <coughs> us all. <laughs> it did surprise us all. But, you know, you held your hands up to this. So this was... You were caught speeding. I was, I, I'll be honest. I was, I, I'm not proud of it, by the way. I don't obviously uh, set out to speed. And I'm glad I didn't have an accident or kill anybody, as was in your link. Uh, so I hope I'm not going to be that over 71. And you weren't much over the... I know, was 38 and a 30. Mm. And, um, and it was at a time, actually, my husband... I mean, you have to put in the form, why were you speeding? And this is true. My husband had been taken into hospital. And I wasn't allowed in. And I couldn't go with him in the thing. And I had to bring toiletries to him the next day. And my mind, if I'm being honest, yeah. was on him Distracted and him. getting the toiletries to hospital. So I wasn't all the time looking at my speedometer. And let's face it, I'm sure many of you out there have had your moments of speeding. Oh, yeah. But I, I didn't want the points on my licence, obviously. And uh, thankfully, it, it was at a point where I could have the speeding course. So it's done now by Zoom, and there were about 12 of us. And so when the guy, I mean, I knew he was probably looking at my form, said to me, why did you do it? I told him. Um, and I say, I'm not proud of it, but I learned so much by that refresher course. It taught me so, because he was asking you, well, what speed would you do on this road? And what speed would you do on that road? And it just refreshes your mm -hmm. memory mm -hmm. on speeds on dual carriageways or um, on country. See, I would have thought that on the country roads I travel in Kent, it would be a 30 because they're narrow. Mm. No, it's 50. Yeah. On, and then I said, but, but I mean, if two people went to 50, you'd be dead. So you said, it, that's where it, your good driving comes in. Has it changed the way you drive yes. now since doing the course? Yes, because I do all the driving and I love driving. Mm. And I was watching my speedometer all the time. And the other thing that shocked me, actually, was the, the stopping process, because they showed you film about how long it takes to stop on a motorway if there's a hold up or an accident. And it was something like the length of 14 cars mm. if you're going at a certain speed. But of course, so I do regret it, but I learned a lot. And I'd like to say to Tim and Kent, you taught us a lot on that particular visual thing because it's so visual. And of course, we have, of course, what's your a special police constable here in Penny? Yeah, well, I suppose Penny it doesn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt any of us. I'm not talking about retaking a test, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt any of us to have a refresher, particularly yeah. things yes. like that, stopping distances, just to I remind think that would be you. A great yes. idea. How we all long pick it up bad take. habits? Yes. So I, 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 I would say that not just for over seven. Are you going to arrest me or tell me off or something? <laughs> Well, you, you can know, do what you want. As a police officer in uniform, we can stop any vehicle, um, not for any particular road traffic offence, but to stop a vehicle to check that you've got a driver's licence and a valid insurance, and you are required to produce those there and then. And if you don't have them, then you've got seven days to bring them into the station. So it's advisable to have them. In I your must car. tell you, though, Penny, I was talking to a bloke the other day who said, I'd love to be arrested by <laughs> Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but so you've got to let go. Of I, wouldn't, I reckon she'd but, be tough. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, very tough. Yes, I won't get away with anything with me. Um, but but I think I think any age should be retested every ten years because we all pick up bad habits. And but to actually do a with test, the, or do you mean a refresher? Uh, like a refresher, not the full test, but just to remind yourself of, of the rules because it is it's so easy to sort of slip into bad habits. And particularly for young people, I was thinking what a great idea it would be. You always tell them they can they can pass their test, can't they? they can start driving at sixteen but they can't drink until they're 18. Mm. So you've got that time on the road before they introduce alcohol. And although the rule is don't drive, don't drink and drive, I don't think they understand what effect that alcohol has. So imagine if you were, you know, in, in a pub car park or you could go to a testing centre where there's a simulator and you could go and do your driving mm. on, on, a, on a road setup where there could be all sorts of things like a child with a pram crossing the road and other incidences that you're you're supposed to stop and react properly and then come back later after you've had a few pints and just to show those young people and older people um, how alcohol does affect your driving, it might make a big difference. Well, as the only 70-year-old on this panel today, I have to say I wouldn't particularly like to have 
a full driving course again, mm. a test, mm. uh, because I still have nightmares about the first one I had when I was I 17. Think, I don't know if it's, if it's a proportion thing, because everybody's now started driving when it was in lockdown, if that's when it, it, it rose up the figures. But I agree with you, Gloria, just because you're a certain age, that doesn't mean that you right. have less capabilities. And I think it's, it's, it's not right to try and ostracise well, the, the older Brenda, people again. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, actually, Brenda, male drivers aged 17 to 21 are three to four times times more likely to be involved in accidents than yeah. elderly drivers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's true. exactly. You know, there's something, there's something to be said about the eye test, and I think everybody should have regular eye tests, which, which we do anyway, we should do. Absolutely. To, to, just to, you know, for those sort of things. Or if you have, you know, if there's a, a health condition or something, maybe they want to bring the government passport out and that and put, you, you know, if you've had a fit or if your eye test, you know... Have you ever been caught speeding? I, I was. I, when I was on tour, I was doing 30 and a 20 because I didn't Penny, know. Penny, were you? I confess, yes, I was going over Tower Bridge and I thought it was 30. They changed the, yeah. all the London being, being 20. Once again, I, I was distracted. It was about 11.30. I was coming out of hospital after visiting yes. my father, who just had heart surgery. So, you know, we, but, but obviously by, by my training, I've become a lot more stringent and um, I've been a nightmare with my children about the laws and, and regulations. What I can say now is mirror signal <laughs> manoeuvre. Yes! <laughs> break. Um, and